Expeditious. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to All Women, real talk from real women. And we have our resident doctor in the house, Dr. Leila Sadin. Mm -hmm. Welcome, yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. Leila is the perfect doctor because she's a regular GP, mm -hmm. an integrative medicine specialist, mm -hmm. and an aesthetic specialist. So everything we need around this table <laughs> is right here, right here in one doctor. And today we're going to talk about stress and the actual physiological effect and impact it has on our bodies. So why is it that stress is human enemy number one at the moment? You know, when we were cavemen, mm. uh, stress was meant to be a survival mechanism. Mm. So when we experience the kind of stress that would require a fight or flight response, for example, you know, a lion attacking the tribe mm -hmm. um, or an earthquake or whatever, mm -hmm. the body would have to have a fight or flight response that made it superhuman in order to yeah. survive. Mm -hmm. So it was a wonderful, very necessary response in the body. What happens with modern civilization, which is, by the way, partly created to avoid all of that kind of life-threatening stress, mm -hmm is that we're experiencing a different kind of stress all the time. And the kind mm. of stress that we have is not necessarily survival threatening mm. um, and doesn't necessarily require that we become superhuman. And so we have stresses like the traffic or like running late or whatever, yeah. um, or SARS. Um, <laughs> everyone relates to that one. Yeah. 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 And no fighting or flighting is going to help you in that situation. Mm. And yet it's the physical body's only way of responding to that. Mm. And so we have the adrenal glands making adrenaline, making cortisol in mm. our bodies all day, non-stop for weeks on end, because you know, SARS doesn't go away after 10 minutes like a lion does. Right. Yeah. And so they're causing diseases in our bodies because we were never built to withstand that kind of discharge of hormones all the time. What kind of diseases? Because I think often people present with different diseases and then mm. they go and take antibiotics or you do, you know, mm. whatever, but it doesn't, you can't understand why things come back all the time. You know, when we were at med school and they went like causes of everything, uh, there'd be this long list and at the end would be stress, but then the treatment plan would have nothing to do with how do we then address the stress mm, aspect, yeah. you know, so a heart attack, yeah, stress, um, diabetes, yeah, stress, you know, like every single yeah. chronic mm. disease, there's an impact that stress plays mm. in either manifesting it from your genes yeah. or actually just making it worse. And then for acute illnesses, absolutely, and then things that don't necessarily have a name, Mm. So um, symptoms that manifest all the time, things like, you know, picking up weight, mm. so yeah. closely related to stress hormones, things like dropping your immune system, mm. or losing your libido. Mm. There is yeah. an absolutely direct correlation mm. between stress all the time, that big sign. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's something you'd like to show no. later, later. <laughs> I'll ask questions. <laughs> mm, I hope you remember later. Um, because, yeah, so stress, brain fog is another one, you know, when you can't yeah. think straight and you can't mm -hmm. remember what you were going to say, you know, all of those things. Yes. And then, of course, the, the big thing that everyone is, is fighting every day, which is burnout. Yeah. 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 Burnout. Yeah. 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 I mean, it sounds like stress is able to deplete the body of its life essence, really. Oh my, I'm so glad you said that. That's exactly yeah. what it's doing, because when you are creating a fight or flight response, yeah. the, the message to the brain is, forget everything else. Mm -hmm. So take every resource that you can possibly pull in your body and direct it towards your fight or flight response. Right. And so, yes, it is exactly draining yeah. your vitality, because yeah. everything you could have been using for your libido, for your well-being, for your mm. healing, you're now using for stress. You know, a lot of jobs these days yeah. thrive on stress. It's almost like they take it as a, a match of pride. I'm mm. so stressed out, mm. I work so hard. And mm. um, it's interesting mm. that you say it takes your life force. Mm. But people, if people looked at it a bit more, like actually stress is not that cool. It's yeah. not something you should be proud of. And it's not something mm -hmm. you should be bragging about. It's something yeah. we should be stepping away mm. from. It's so true. I mean, when I deal with men, and I mean, most often men, of course, they are yeah. women who are very manly as well. Mm. And I say to them, we need to address your stress. They become very defensive about mm. it. Firstly, there's this thing of don't tell me I'm stressed because that means I'm not coping. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. it's like I'm, it's yeah. a weakness. 
And then the second thing is, don't take it away from me. Like that's how I, that's I how I'm driven. Yeah. 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 Is there such a thing as healthy stress? Yeah, and exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll just elaborate quickly because mm. I'm the type of person who's kind of last minute. Mm. And if I have to, this is me from like primary school. If I have mm. to like submit a project or mm. something of that na nature, an essay, whatever it is, yeah. I wait until the very last minute to yeah. do it because yeah. I don't know, somehow it works. Yeah. And mm, <laughs> that's sure. when I, I'm at my best somehow mm. and I perform <laughs> my best or whatever. Yeah. So is that, would that count as healthy stress? Is there such a thing? I think, you know, each of us have to decide for ourselves is our stress um, more benefit or more mm. risk? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you feel what it feels like when you're stressed. So yes, there's an initial kind of rush because adrenaline is like an addiction. You know, mm -hmm. lots of people yeah. are addicted mm -hmm. to adrenaline. Yeah. You get that rash and it, does, it makes you do whatever you need to do. And then there's a crash. Mm -hmm. There's always a crash. Mm -hmm. And for each of us, we have to decide, does that weigh up for me? Yeah. And then, of course, when we assess stress and when we treat stress integratively or naturally, mm -hmm. we are not taking away your ability to stress. We're just limiting the effects of stress on your physical body and on your mental body. So mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not as though you have to give that up in mm -hmm. order to be healthy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leila, let's talk about the stress test. The first time I went to Leila, she said, I, I think you're stressed. And I was unemployed at the time. I was like, I don't even have a job. How can I be stressed? <laughs> you know? And I think Leila just looked at me and nodded. Mm -hmm. And then she gave me this form yeah. that you go through. And as I went through the form, I was like, oh. But what's wonderful about this specific stress test, because yeah. there are many, is that it helps us to see what kind of physical manifestations we can have from that concept of psychological stress. Mm -hmm. So what are the physical things that can actually happen? And then it shows us what the physical symptoms are of the burnout aspect. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're divided into five sections. Mm -hmm. And the sections are either mental stress, so you know that's the worrying all the time, yeah. you know the anxiety yeah. about yeah. things. Yeah. The second one is physical stress. So when you might not be worrying about things, but you've got heart palpitations. Yeah. Yeah. The third section is when you have mental burnout. So your brain is exhausted from stressing all the time. Mm -hmm. You can't think straight, your memory's not there, all of those things. And then lastly, what happens when you have physical body burnout? So mm. we know the fatigue aspect mm. Mm. and the libido we mentioned, mm. um, but things like picking up weight and when you start having infections all the time, mm. worrying mm. about cholesterol, all of those things, that's the burnout phase. And depression, by the way, which kicks mm. in there as well. Mm. And then the fifth one is very interesting. It's when your body is not able to metabolize or get rid of those stress hormones. Mm. And then they get stuck in like your muscles and your head and you start getting mm. tension and okay. headaches and sore yeah. neck and your blood pressure actually drops. So when people see that, they go, oh my goodness, this isn't something I have to live with forever. Mm. Sure, this is actually caused by something. And when we know it's caused by something, we know that we can fix it. So Dr. Leila, what do, because this is an all women show, mm -hmm. what, what are some of the risk factors that we as women should be looking out for? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, what, what are some of the things that we can do to take care of ourselves? Mm -hmm. Because women are dealing in this modern society with all the stresses. It's no longer just the stress of caring for your husband and your children. Mm -hmm. It's now also you've got to be the CEO yeah, of the yeah, thing absolutely. and you've got to get to work on time and it's everything. Yeah. We are actually becoming the leading stressors in society. And so those symptoms are actually becoming more on our shoulders than they used to be, they used to be mostly on men's shoulders. Mm -hmm. And mm. so women need to be watching out, and especially when you are burning the candle at both ends. When you mm. know that you have to be this perfect mother and still mm. have to be this perfect businesswoman mm. or whatever else, mm. you've got to just watch yourself. Are you starting to feel tired? Are you more tired today than you were three years ago? Mm. And are you constantly more tired than you used to be? That's always a good start. Mm. Or yeah. do you notice that you're starting to forget things and it's not nearly the time for Alzheimer's, you know? Like, what's happening with your body? Mm. And then, of course, do you feel anxious all the time? Mm. You, you, do silly things that come up make you feel like, oh, that's, that's going to be a stressor? Mm -hmm. We can deal with that. Mm -hmm. and, and as women, mm -hmm. it is important that we do because that's what we teach our children. You know, yes. that's well, a more yeah. wonderful thing to teach than yeah. how to deal with stress every day. Yeah. 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 And I think that's the thing, eh? when I find myself, when I'm stressing and mm. I can feel that, that brain fog creeps in, I can feel the fatigue, I can also feel 
this heart palpitation. Now, besides the stress test mm -hmm. that you spoke about, what mm -hmm. other ways can one test for stress? So there are some blood tests that we can do. I mean, they are really, when I'm really concerned that this has been ongoing, I can't manage this with my usual kind of techniques, um, we need to look at the blood levels of the cortisol, for example. Mm. And we actually need to see, are you chemically mm. depleted of cortisol? Mm. And then do we somehow need to replace that? How do you treat? Mm. How do I treat? So integrative medicine is wonderful because every single integrative doctor is completely different. Mm. There is no university where we all learned the same thing and then we were cookie cutters mm. of that at the end. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. We, you know, each of us follow our passion, we follow our pain a lot mm. of the time. So yeah. whatever we've suffered with, we end up developing our protocols based on that really mm. and yeah. what we learn from our patients all the time. Mm. So what I do for stress is going to be very different from what anybody else does. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we use this, well, I use the stress test. Yeah. And based on that, I can sort of tease out exactly what your unique kind of stress is yeah. in that moment. Right. Mm. And then based on that, we will use very specific natural herbs and nutritional kind of interventions mm -hmm. to help you get through that. Mm -hmm. Remember, there are very simple things you can do, like taking omega-3s mm. and uh, multivitamin that can mm. actually feed that aspect of stress so that you stress better and you limit the danger to your body. Mm. Yeah. And then, of course, eating well actually helps us to stress better. Yeah. Which, you know, wow. we never think of that. Wow. Yeah. 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 And then I do a little bit of energy healing with patients and kind of assessing what their energy body does at the same time. Because many of us are stressing because of old traumas, you yeah. know. Yeah. Like, why does the traffic give you such an issue? What is the old trauma that makes yeah. that be a problem oh, for you? Yeah. You're going to have to break it down for us. What do you mean the energy energy body what did you say yeah mm. so probably that's going to be a whole other session but integrative medicine is very busy you know it's, its whole thing is about looking at the body holistically right. mm. and every person is much more than simply the matter that we are made of yeah. Yeah. and we know with quantum physics that that is a that is a scientific fact right. we are matter and we are energy right. and for centuries medicine ignored the aspect of the energetic yeah. body mm. and mm. yet prior to the advent of modern medicine that's all we dealt mm. with right so ancient yeah. healing techniques were all very busy dealing with the energy of the system so with integration we bring that together we start mm. to find ways to address the energy body whether we're using our physical senses mm. or whether we're using devices that are being built every day that can mm. actually access what's happening in your energy yeah. system wow yeah. i love that because it's it feels like it is necessarily responsive to each individual and their own unique Ness Absolutely. And, yeah. and what it is that they've experienced in the past instead of just the one 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 size fits all yeah. type of oh here God. take an antibiotic yeah here take this particular yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. or like the stress medicine how can you have yeah. a stress medicine that addresses yeah. all of your trauma and where that comes from it's crazy yeah. i mean in that way it feels i mean for me it feels like I am seen as a patient and I'm yeah. part of, of the healing process i can i can yeah. have i have some yeah. agency in my own healing rather than giving all the power to the doctor and saying, oh. okay, you deal with me. Mm -hmm. But I can yeah. actually be an active participant in my own healing. Hattie, you are giving yeah. me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. You know, when a patient figures that out, and I don't have to try and explain that to them, it's mm -hmm. like you hear what my calling is about. Yeah. Yeah. It is actually yeah. about being able to say, you, you are the patient, you are the person, you are the human being. Right. Take the power out of everybody yes. else's hand and do what needs yeah. to be done for yourself. Yeah. I think one thing you hit on really nicely for me was teach your children not to stress or teach them how to deal with yeah. stress mm. and I think mm. for um, it's a great thing going forward because if we all bring our children up mm. with that sort of outlook we don't mm. you know deal with your stress deal with your stuff don't mm. be stressed I think mm. going forward we have a generation that's going to be mm. healthier and less susceptible to these yeah. you know feel one of the big things about that is uh, we teach our kids through our lives yes. mm. most of the stuff yes. we learn from our parents we learn through what we saw yes. not through what they said to Indeed. us yeah. so mm. manage your own stress mm. and your kids will learn from that mm. great mm. Leila thanks so much we will see you in the next episode because you're here you are one of the team <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> do stay tuned to all women we have Liberty Banks coming up to speak about gender issues mm. um, gender issues that's fine